What's up everybody? Alola. Welcome back to my channel. Today we've got another epic unboxing that is literally fuego. In today's unboxing, we're cracking open the beautiful, brand new Darkness Ablaze. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party and I apologize. That's just the story of my life. I am late to so many things, not just Pokemon related. So I hear there's another Charizard in this set. Surprise, 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 surprise. But I must admit, this Charizard has to be one of the coolest looking Charizards we've gotten in a hot minute, okay? This is the kind of Charizard that'll keep a man awake at night, that'll cause a person to scurry off at odd hours to Target, to buy some booster packs in the hopes to get this majestic card. Huh? What's that? What about shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates? Man, get that out here. I don't care about that trash. Huh? What about first edition base set Charizard? Man, get out of here. I don't care about no vintage cards. Do I look like a grandpa? Huh? What about Charizard Reshiram? That's actually a really cool card. I really want that card. Not gonna lie. Now, besides Charizard, the next card I really, really want from this set has to be my boy, Piers. He is hands down my favorite gym leader in all of Sword and Shield. And just to show you guys how serious I am to pull these two cards, I didn't just get one, two, or even three booster boxes. I got an entire booster case. Now, I don't know why they put it in such a big box, but not gonna lie, I like me some big boxes. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. If you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We are currently still on the hashtag road to 20 subs, but I know we'll get there with your support. So with that being said, let's get on with the unboxing. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mommy said to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Yo, not gonna lie, this is one of the nicest condition booster boxes I have ever gotten. Normally when I get booster boxes, they're like smashed here, smashed there. You know, like one card's over there flying off. It's it's pretty bad, but this looks nice. Oh man, it's a very, I don't know if you guys can pick this up, but it's a very strange yellow on the front here, like right here. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of like those yellow spots you see in the snow. Uh, 
and you question the origin of said yellow spot. So I'm just gonna tuck that yellow part away right there because it's just really creeping me out. So, all right, here we go. First, oh, and it is Charizard. Our first pack is Charizard. All right, let's see if I can open these without scissors. Ah, oh, yes, here we go. All right, good start. Good start. Okay, so you know how we do it here. Code cards, enjoy. Let me know what you pull online. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. We got a lightning energy. Kabu, what's up, Kabu? Turbo Patch. Dark Tricks. Gothita. Skarmory, oh, hey, Skarmory, what's up? Cub Chew, adorable Cub Chew. Always got a runny nose. Wimpod. Evolves into Glycopod, nice. Bunnelby. Reverse Hollow Meltan. And, oh, hollows, nice. Double hollows in our first pack. We got a holographic Heatran, nice. Very cool, very cool. All right, so I'm gonna keep these here. And I think I should mention, this is my first ever Sword and Shield booster box opening, so I'm very excited for that. So please forgive me if I'm going a little slow, especially at the beginning, I'm just trying to savor this moment. This is a historic moment for myself, if I do say so. Whoa. All right, enjoy. One, two, three, four. Man, some of these cards already have whitening going on in the back. That's crazy. I don't know what it is with these English sets. We got a Fighting Energy, Ursa Ring. Well, that is a really cool looking Heat Energy. Simiseer, oh, I haven't seen these dudes in a while. Shelmet, Panpour, yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen y'all. Teddy Ursa, Rookity, Torchic, a Reverse Hollow Excelgore, and, ah! Let's go! We got a Hound Doom V. Oh, I love Hound Doom. Let's check the back. Check the back. How are we looking? How are we looking? Yes, Hound Doom, you are good to go. All right, what's up, Sword and Shield? My first ever V card, and it is Hound Doom. Nice. I love Hound Doom. Let's sleeve that up. Got my nice little Charizard sleeves for the occasion. Got them from PokemonCenter.com if you guys are interested. Ah, sweet. That is a really cool looking card. All right, so they're Vs now. No more GX, no more of that nonsense. We're in the V era now. Sweet. Yeah, I love me some Houndoom. And then I found out Houndoom was mainly like a villain's Pokemon when I was playing the game. So I was like, oh no, but my Houndoom, my Houndoom was a good boy. I don't remember if Houndoom is from the same generation as Mightyena, because I do remember in Pokemon uh, Emerald, I had to make a choice. Like, I didn't make a choice, I actually kept both of them, but like, in my party, but yeah, it was really tough, because they're both doggy-type Pokemon, so, you know. Fire Energy, Hiding Energy, Hiding Energy, okay. Fletchender, Gotharita, Grimer. One of these cards is really bad on the back, like, terrible condition. I hope it's not the good card. <laughs> Marie, Paris, Grimer. Arctivish, yeah, the fossil Pokemon, nice. Oh, is that it? Okay, that's it. Okay, so Grimer was our hollow, wow. Okay, I was not paying attention. Okay. Here we go, there's that code for you guys. Now, I am probably going to make this into a two-parter because I just, you know, I'm like a really, really, really tiny YouTube channel, you know, so I have to make my product last as long as possible, so. Apologies if you guys aren't into those, you know, definitely stick around to the channel, subscribe if you want to see part two. Really appreciate it, but that's probably how it's gonna go, because I like to keep my videos under 20 minutes, and I take a really long time opening booster boxes, so just the two-part videos really works out better for me, guys. Squovit, Qfant, and an Escavalier, nice. It's a cool, cute little Qfant right there. Evolves into Kabaraja. Here we go. There's a Charizard again. So let's see how many awesome pulls we can get in this first half. Okay. There's that code. Oh, God. Do you guys see that? Look how white these cards are in the corner already. Oh, my gosh. One, two, three, four. Cards that are going white on the back drive me insane. Like, that's like my biggest, like, ugh, when it comes to Pokemon cards. Steel Light. Oh, Combuskin. Nice. Pupitar. Corvus Squire, Sinistee, Feebas. Oh man, need to get my low tick. 
Bissimian, Fletchling, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow Ursaring, and a Thievul. Nice. Love Thievul. Had one in my party for Sword and Shield. Oh, it's got a little berry in its mouth. That's pretty cool. That's a cool card. Ursaring. So yeah, let me know what down below what you guys like what drives y'all crazy like in terms of like flaws with pokemon cards for me it's definitely whitening i'll take any other flaw actually i don't like cre uh. is there even a flaw that like you can enjoy oh off centering i know a lot of people get you know go crazy whenever a card is off centered but if i had to pick a flaw for my pokemon cards like if somebody gave me like a base set charizard and said hey you can take this card but it has to have one flaw I would probably take off centering over everything else because I don't really consider that a flaw. One, two, three, four. Whitening creases and all that. That stuff's just like, ugh, looks terrible. Water energy, Carnivine, Cape of Toughness. Is that Leon's Cape? It looks like Leon's Cape. Powerful energy, Fletchling, Larry and Mr. Mime, Porchick, Aron, Rickety, Reverse Hollow Gorlur, ugh. Golurk, sorry, Golurk, can't speak right now. And we got another Golurk, so double Golurks, very cool. All right, so here we go. We got a Darkness Energy. Corvusquire, Lunatone, Struggle Gloves, Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet, ah, oh, Rowlet, I love Rowlet. Adorable Rowlet, Wishy Washy, Qfent, Galarian Darumaka. Let's go! Nice! We got Eternatus V, and I don't think this is the reg- or is this the regular one? This might be the regular one, actually. I don't know why I was thinking it was the alternate. I just look like the regular one. Very cool, and it is not in very good condition. Uh, actually, no, it might be pretty decent. No, it's got like a pretty thing, pretty little nick. It's got like a little nick right here. I don't know why I'm pretending like I'm gonna go get these cards graded. I'm not, so I don't know why I'm focused so much on that. I just feel like if it's packed fresh, it should be fine, but apparently not. Very cool, Eternatus. Our little cover art Pokemon, and we got the V card. Nice. Here we go. Where's that code? One, two, three, four. Okay, we got a Leaf Energy. Furret. Yellhorn, Team Yell, what's up? Flappy. Whoop. Torchic. Oh, okay. it's like a very realistic toy looking Torchic. Starly. We got a Skarmory. Pansage. Electric, nice. Paris. And oh, Tapu Coco Hollow, nice. Double hollows, Paris and Tapu Coco, awesome. Lots of Sun and Moon throwbacks here, I love it. Alright, so we got a. Oh, I just noticed this. A lot. Energies are a lot different looking too now. Looks very cool. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Energy. Rare Fossil. Simi Sage. Simi Poor. Purloin, Hippopotas, Centric, oh I haven't seen a Centric in a minute, Larvesta, okay, whoop, cards are kind of flying all over over here, Morlo, Serena, Hollow, ah, let's go, yes, we got a Scizor VMAX, nice, let's go, alright, you guys know how to, oh, this one is good, this one is good. Okay, sleeve it up before I mess it up. Sleeve it before I mess it up. Uh, gotta tuck it in a little bit more. Uh, got it, there we go. All right. My first VMAX and it is the very cool Scizor. Awesome. Let's go. What is that number? 119 out of 189. Oh, that is a really cool looking card. Oh man, I love that artwork, okay. Wow, I, I am in love with that artwork. So really funny, I actually have never used a Scizor in a single Pokemon playthrough of mine. I, I don't remember if it was always like that, but wasn't it like you have to trade Scyther holding like a metal coat or something to evolve it? And I could just never find anybody to trade with, so that's why I just never used a Scizor. So yeah, never ever used him. Looks really cool. Uh, I know my boy Guzman, Sun and Moon, he uses a Scizor in the tournament at the end, so yeah. It looks. Cool Pokemon, very cool card. And I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now with this pack. This pack is just like, okay, wow. Oh, all right, there we go. Awesome, so yeah. Here we go, there's that code. Three amazing pulls already in the first half, man, that's awesome. Leaf Energy, Gotharita, Kabu, Turbo Patch, Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet, 
wishy-washy. Q Fant. Oh, nice. Reverse Hollow Hydreigon. And oh, double Hollow. Let's go, Toxtricity. Yes. This is not the one I had in my playthrough, though. I had the one with the yellow little mohawk thing going on. Very cool, though. Double hollows. Nice. Yeah, I'm liking all these pulls in the first half. It makes it a lot, it makes my decision to split it into two parts that much easier because the good content gets spread all around, so I love it. Right, let's keep it going. So glad that Scizor V Max is in good condition. Awesome. All right. There's that. Now, I don't know what the, uh, you know, like the average pull like ratio is in these boxes. I don't know, like are you guaranteed one VMAX? Are you guaranteed a secret rare? I don't know all that. We'll find out in this box. So we got a Rose Tower, cool. Battle Tree. Sinister, Laron, Dunsparce, Electrike, Galarian Mr. Mime, Grimer, Clink, Clink, Clink. Reverse Hollow Wigglytuff, and a Manectric. Nice, love Manectric. Very cool. A little Reverse Hollow Wigglytuff. Oh, Eternatus. All right, let's see what you got. I got already, already got you Eternatus, but I think you have a couple of other different cards. So let's see where you're at. Here you go. One, two, three, four. Okay, Fighting Energy. I believe Fairy Energies are now gone from the Sword and Shield like sets. So rest in peace, Fairy Energy, if that is true. Purloin, Hippopotas. Centret, Larvesta, Morlul, oh, very cool, Reverse Hollow, Hippopowdon, nice. And a Wigglytuff, all right. We got one, two, three, five packs left in the first half. Scorch, Charizard, Eternatus, uh, Grimmsnarl, and another Scorch. All right, Let's see what we got. Let me know down below, guys, if you've cracked open the, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have already gotten into Darkness Ablaze. Let me know what you guys have been getting and, you know, the pulls, if you've been enjoying them or if you're still on the hunt for that Charizard. What's your number one want besides Charizard, obviously? And Psychic Energy, Struggle Gloves, Combustion, Pupitar, Bunnelby, Paris, Larvitar, Golet, Feebas, Bunnelby, Kangaskhan, all right. Bunnelby and a Kangaskhan. Huh. There you go. One, two, three, four. All right. Got a Steel Energy, Carnivine, Big Parasol. Ah, Pierce, Pierce, I need your trainer card. Pierce, your full art. Please come to me. Pierce, Purloin, Starly, Aron, Kupchu, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow Soul Rock, and a Vanillax. Okay. Ah, oh God, we lost a card. We lost a card. I don't know where it was supposed to go, but I'll just keep it there. <laughs> There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, I hope I did that. Oh, I think I did that right. Energy, Simipore, Corvusquire, Lunatone, Larvitar, Nicket, Bonsuite, Snubble, Meltan, ah, love me some Meltan. Reverse Hollow Hiding Energy and a Digger's B. If you guys have played Sword and Shield, y'all know, y'all already know Digger's B, that little um, Pokemon that doesn't just pop up in the grass, it's actually walking around the world, uh, overworld Pokemon or something. That's like one of the first ones, he's just like walking around and like, I try to fight him with like my level five uh, uh, score bunny and yeah, he's got wrecked pretty bad. But then don't worry, once my score bunny became a cinder ace, I went back and got my revenge. There's that code. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got a darkness energy. Staravia, Shinoptic, Flaffy, Toxel, Sinisty, Carablast, Meltan again, Marini, hey! Larvesta, Reverse Hollow, and a Delcaddy. Wow, it has been a long time since I've seen a Delcaddy. Okay, unless I've gotten one earlier that I just never noticed, but it's been a minute that I've seen a Delcaddy or anyone use a Delcaddy in any of the games. All right, cool. There's that code. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Leaf Energy, Dugtrio, Rare Fossil, Simi Sage, 
Trap Pinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet, Carablast, Galarian Darumaka, Dugtrio, and a Muck. Muck, Muck, Muck. Not the Alolan Muck. Isn't there a Galarian Muck too? Actually, no, I don't think there's a Galarian Muck. Dugtrio, go over there. And that was our last pack, ladies and gents, for the first half of our Darkness Ablaze booster box. We got some really cool pulls. I'm gonna do a full recap after I finish part two, just so we can do it all at once. And yeah, guys, really hope you enjoy that. I hope you can stick around for uh, part two. That should come out pretty soon as well. And yeah, until then, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys are doing well, stay safe, and please consider liking the video and subscribing if you're new. See you in the next one. Alola.